them. This is um, good though. Like the, you know, Mirage, they actually looked really, really solid when they took on fours in that closing game to get to the legend stage. It was G2 who you know took Navi on on this map earlier on today. They're certainly not going to be worried, but this is a pretty standard map. It's a it's an old school map. It's the one that the legends have fallen for. FNX, these guys won majors on this map, so uh, they're not going to be unfamiliar by any means. Well, so what a what hilarious thing would you do if Imperial do win this? Uh, would give you me like some eat a shoe or something? No, not a shoe, because that just doesn't that wouldn't taste nice. Give me some give me some realistic steaks, and I'll I'll consider agreeing to it. You'll dye your hair red and black. Deal. Okay, Deal. there we go. Right, yeah. I like that. That's the uh, only if you shave it all off if G two win. Well, hang on. Well, no. <laughs> I don't want to agree to that. Yeah, That's so see, skewed. you don't like it, do you? That's so skewed, man. Yeah, exactly. Right. Then why take the bet? Molly to get Monacy out of window. And a little smoke up on the short side to conceal the movements of these mid players. Monacy sees them all sail on by up into the connector. And of that reaction, yeah, out Ooh. through the uh, the palace. It's bolts with an open. And Nico, oh, a little ugly here. I'm and buying the die. Oh dear, hang on a moment. Monacy and Jax have restored a bit of normality. Finally, shots connect cleanly for G2. And Monacy's there to put up a double. FNX dead. And so G2 do win out that pistol after all. Forget it. I'm not buying die. Instead, I'm dying by G2. And I will live and die by that statement. Either way, pistol round taken. And good recovery considering the whiffs coming out from under Balk to start that round. Monacy swings in with a nice double. And G2 keep things under wraps. Imperial have looked threatening on Mirage. Safe to say. It's a nice middle ground map for this BO1. Honestly, making that catch up quick as well. No one's here. Maui once called this man fast, and I'm inclined to agree. It's Nico, who's quick to farm Eco's, running up top mid to take Fallen. Just Glocks and a P2. Should be nice and clean. Really wants these eco kills, doesn't he? And he's making it look pretty. He's even brought his cousin to the party. And they will farm them up over in top mid. So G2, 2 0. To open this one up. Now we're going to have that reinvestment from Imperial. Won't have that AWP adorned for Fallen right away. He's going to have to roll with the punches and take a rifle here to open up. On the other side of things, it's a bonus round for G2. So no AWPs in play yet. Imperial, looking like they probably want to go back to some of this mid control early on, knowing that you know, G2 are taking a bonus here after keeping that last round flawless. Yeah, the smoke. Oh, Nico goes with the flash right through it. Monacy's doubled up somehow from that window gap. And there's a player right below him. They know what they're looking for, but Bolt might die before the help can ever come in. Three smoke through. Monacy still waits, but with that smoke down, FNX can no longer trade. That's a beautiful way to start the round for G2, throwing the two rifles into the prying eyes of Imperial. And boy, did they pry eyes with a spoon. Monacy puts another one on the board and even gets the info on FNX. Quite a shredding of a round. Monacy's going Full hunting. <laughs> Just full W mode, and they're all joining in. They're all trying to have their fill. Oh, no, 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 no. And this should be the closer, shouldn't it? Hunter on this angle doesn't often miss those, and so he won't. Yeah, that is not really how you wanted your first rifle round to go if you're Imperial. Monacy has that little one-way smoke over in middle, churns them up as they try to go out into the open. You know, we were wondering if that lack of AWP, you know, would hinder him at all. Nah, not one bit. Not one bit for Monacy over here in window. Yeah, it really is a sign of the time seeing players do that for G2, just... Very uh, oppressive. They know their favorites. And they want to show it. Now you got to toe the line. You don't want to overplay your hand, but if they can find that balance, 
they could take this game pretty one-sidedly for... Has crept up Con though, he's got great timing. Oh, Nico's turned around, but he's not cleared the corner. And that's Fur with a pick. Won't last long. Honestly, snipes him out from the back of CT and Vinny trades onto Jack. So not gonna be a problem for Monacy to snuff him out right at the end. And G2 go 4-0 up. Imperial come back in with a bye. Now, in their big matchup earlier on, Imperial, you know, they were really, really slow to get going. But in a few rounds, they were able to get. They were actually able to uh, make, you know, the, the scoreline at least feel a lot closer than maybe the game actually was, right? So maybe if they get on the board earlier here. Yeah, standard day round to do it. Classic. No orb, unfortunately, yet. G2 are not just aware of this, but they are double down in the site. Nico's just going to get out behind the smokes to safety. But he's left Jack still right in the middle of default. He's going to see the smokes come over, have a bit of early warning. But now no one can assist him. Nico, or Hunter rather, jumps through and tries to help. But they're going to have to beat that Molotov into the bomb site. Hunter's found one. Under Balk, Jack's at least goes one for one. For getting that trade and Paul's getting up close. Oh, Nico dead. 3v3 as they do manage to break their way into this A bomb site. And now, Monacy over here in CT. This guy's showing he can do it versus current legends. Ooh. How about some blasts from the past? It's in with that AWP to open up a three on two now. G2 favored. Imperial looking like they want to try and fight for some control on the connector side. Oh. And Hunter is tapped out by Fallen. Not over yet. Ooh, Alexi saw him. Goes both ways. They would love a flash to make next contact, but it's dry fights on either side right now. Monacy with a missed shot. They're going to try and hunt down Alexi, who faces too soon. And Monacy now fakes the run at them, forces Fallen off the bomb, scopes and sneaks back in. Fallen, he's ready for the fight. He is not falling for it, but Monacy is... Oh my God, pre-fired, one tapped. Fallen wins the round, and that is beautiful from Fallen. The opener as well. That con tap to start it all. And Fallen goes on with three. We saw him in Liquid, man. And it wasn't the orping that really impressed me most when he did have that tenure in uh, in Liquid. It was actually his rifling, his clutches, his ability to get one taps. Not what I, you know, expect of him normally, but was really, really solid. Yeah, it almost feels like, you know, the moment you put him in the clutch and he is just responsible for himself and his own crosshair and his own, you know, his own movements. He's often able to exceed your expectations there. Slow into the middle this time around for Imperial, right? And it's given time for Nico and Monacy to play this little double setup here. Just going to be able to trade contact off of one another with no one immediately able to go lower. FNX certainly could late in the round. Nico, he's going to be available to oh, help perfect. out in top mid. Set up with this flash. He's going to go running at them. Takes one out the rankings and then just gets out of there. Looks to live to tell the tale. Wow. That's a robbery right there. Imperial were waiting so long anti-flash. The second they set up to pop, that's when the, the top mid flash comes from G2. Could not have timed it better. And the fact that Nico survives is huge. It's put so much pressure on Imperial. It's not even giving them a way back into this round. Nico is on for more. Third down, dead under. Ladder room nade does nothing. Nico's up on top and over. And Hunter's going in, coming through with a third. G2 are just winning dry fights right now. There's nothing that can be done. FNX trying to break his way back into B, but Alexi can't trade, but he can tell his team not to worry. He's run away. G2. Save. Yeah, they've done it. Yeah, great timing on that, like, mid-pop between uh, Nico and, and Monacy, man. You know, they, they held it for so long, and after a while, it's like their patience runs dry. They go, look, we're not getting contact anywhere else. Let's not hold this one forever. Flash me in. Oh, dear. The spam. Oh. One bullet would do it. But FNX will at least hold on to this Galil. Live to fight another day. As the save is called by Imperial G2, a quick to respond with another round. 
Yeah, Fallen's going to have to dig deep here because, you know, even if you, you can mastercraft a, a plan on T-Side Mirage, there's just so many legends. I mean, not just legends, but aimers, man. So many players who can 3 or 4K you and just win the round solo dolo. Hunter lining up top mid utility, trying to molly the boxes. Smoked him out a window. This could be a pick, but that flash gets fallen off the boost, and Nico's taking space as a result. Fallen's aware of this. Oh, Jax's smoke spam bolts. There's the players from under. Nico's not ready for a second, but he gets fallen Ooh. and turns around. Vinny gone after one, but Nico, he has just uprooted this entire round. Don't know how. I mean, you don't want to be left saving again, right? You don't want to hold this Galil out into another gun round. You're going to try and take this 1v1 to Jax while you got it. But try is the operative word there. G2, they're able to keep that one clean. They're building up a nice bit of bank account here on this CT side. The money, meanwhile, for Imperial, while well, it's broken, it's in a bit of a weird way. They're still going to force an investment here. They're still going to put guns out into the round, but it will come with limitations, right? Fallen and FNX going to take a hit in the firepower department. All in all, though, it's an all right little buy they've pieced together here. They're going to go back into mid again, but it's not been too fruitful for them. This time, faster from the get-go. I like the pace. Gonna get Vinny all the way up cat in the one round that G2 have not put any stock in fighting middle. Imperial, they are poised very well for this B hit with only Alexi, who's not really seen much action yet. Sat back alone at the bomb site. He's gonna drop his Molly. Good time for it. But at a moment's notice, Vinny can activate off cat. Problem is his smoke's fading soon, and that orb could catch him if Monacy goes back to watch Catwalk or even Jax. Right now, G2 have no eyes on the prize. They are prying Nico back over. And he's going to be here just in time for this B execute. Alexi's battering them with nades. But Imperial, oh dear. G2 have read it. It's all too quiet for Alexi. And they've called for the stack. Yeah, I mean, Jax has just cleared out Palace over on A. At this point, you haven't seen anyone A, would you? Haven't seen anything in middle. Starting to feel like it's the B play, and they would be right in that now. F and X oh. next door to Alexi, gonna double off on the opener. Wow. And Bolts follows through with the trade onto Nico. That's a save for G2, quick as you like. That B play does field results for Imperial, even though they walk into the stack. Lovely flashes to get FNX in. Alexi had no idea that he was next to the enemy. Yeah, that's just a sick dry execute, or not dry execute, but execute from Imperial, right? Like you said, it's the flashbangs that basically win the round. Everyone's full blind on B. G2 are not ready for Util to be that good. And Nico, his angle's really nice for stopping short, but even though he gets one kill, they see his barrel poking up by the bench, and they're just able to wallbang him out. So it's only one for one for three on that bomb site, win. and that is far too little to even attempt it. Hey, G2, they had the read, they just didn't have the shots. Lovely spray from F and X. Could not have been better. Imperial breakthrough with a round. Can they build? They're going fast, but he's not even buying nades. So I imagine he's either going to be you know, going in quick for an entry or doing that same cat play again. It's up on ramp instead. He's just running out. Disrespect from Vinny. I love it. Tucked in on Apex. They don't know about this. They think it's smoked. They think they have ramp. He's asked himself here. Nice. As the opener from the aggro, Vinny. Now, not ready for Hunter as this second player under Palace. Yes. Oh, and he's playing trigger discipline. Right now, Vinny's taking all this room. Imperial think it's clear. Hunter in a position to strip this round away single-handedly. Going to stop that bomb plant, but can't follow up with anything else. So the A side's fallen. Vinny still has all this space as they well. Know. It's something that they know about, sure. Yeah. But is that oh, going to make it any no. easier? Nico is still back turned. And so that's Vinny with a free kill out in CT. Furs got this mid wrap. Monacy's going to get shot in the back. And now only Alexi left. He's not really been involved in too much to open this one up. And so he's out of there just trying to save this A1S. Imperial will come hunting. Don't imagine they throw too much more at this. No. 
Damn, that's so unlucky for Hunter. The reason that that doesn't come to plan is because Imperial, they send Vinny so deep into CT that it allows for a default plant. What Hunter wants is what, he, what he's hoping for is an open enough plant that Imperial needs to play multiple players in the bomb site to cover it. But they don't. They have Vinny so deep. The Fallen sticks it for him and the rest of Imperial go back to ramp. They stay on Palace. He has to take the kill on the planter to avoid that going into a retake, but he can't double up. He can't take two for one. Would love to shoot shoot a gun out player and then kill the planter. But that opportunity just never poked his head. And so with all that space for Vinny, Imperial are able to close the round. Now it's just a saved gun, one rifle and a bunch of pistols. Classic G2 move though, boosting that one gun up. Could be something. They didn't actually see the run boost, so it's a little awkward here. I don't know that right now top mid is chock full of Imperial Ouch. players. Vinny's even opened up into the B site in the meantime. Good start for Imperial here. They've got these lower players trapped. Monaseet will land a shot with uh -oh. the Deagle and Alexi's M4 Ooh. rains out with another. Vinny is keeping this round in check and with Furs mid luck getting discounted. He's sealed the deal on this one. Just Nico's Deagle left up in it in a 1v3. Very far removed from this B bomb site, and with a lot to do, it's looking good for a fourth on the board for this Imperial squad. There's no crowd, Nico. Nothing you can do. No one up there. But it was a nice try. Yeah, there's the gun that Alexi once had. He's going to go for it. Kind of knows Crazy. this. I like that, man. He just hangs around in mid. He uses the gun as bait. He knows that eventually, you know, someone's going to, let's say someone, Nico's going to come looking for it, right, to go and get that out of the round. And he just plays around that fact. Yeah. I, you know, Vinny, in all the success of Imperial, it's not actually been the Vinny show, which has been surprising. It has been some of the older guys to put on the masterclass for Imperial to get them to the legends. But... You know, Vinny, we know he has it in, here, in him, and he shows mechanically a couple of really nice rounds um, out of this just A1S entry work he's been doing on this T side B. Another B play for Imperial. This one looking a little more sped fast. Getting ready to go. Now, steps will have been heard. They jump deep. Vinny has to back. Molly does tag him. Hunter's heard that one. So G2, don't wait about getting the util in, but it goes both ways. Flashes through. They're going to jump, hunt down Alexi, who again is full blind. Oh. Vinny mechanically gifted in D. Two entries into B, and G2 might have to save, especially with that spot. Nico can't convert the kill, and Imperial five up and five on the board. Bro, you're dead on. We haven't had a game where it's been Vinny. Like, we haven't had a game where it's all come off of his back, or even he's been like the player talked about. Normally, he's like, it feels like at best been kind of middle of the pack thus far within this Imperial team. But back when he was in Furia, he would just have these games where he would go off and dominate the scoreboard, right? That was always the kind of feature of that team that anyone could fill that star void. We're starting to get it here, though, right? We're starting to get a, a very aggressive Vinny as well. And I feel like his role within this team has kind of been that of someone playing a lot safer, not taking those same risks we would see on his time in Furia. Feels like he's kind of throwing caution to the wind here. And it's a big double opener in towards that B site from him that's teed them up for a fifth. They're really close to equalizing this yeah, game out. This and with only sick. Monacy's AWP in play, that's like the, that's the big kind of red button you've got to not push in this situation. But other than that, the stage is set for a 6-6 score line. Oh, you always want to push the big red button, Harry. Oh, it's so tempting. It's, it's just sitting there, staring at you, screaming to be pushed. Will Monacy get his goods? He's boosting up into the ladder room. Vinny, he's been the man causing commotion for G2, but he might be in the firing line on the chopping block. Whatever metaphor you want, Monacy's got it. With that smoke fade for there, and Monacy's headshot him right through it. Vinny will live. And maybe that's worthwhile if he can give us more of these entries. He can get a all team side, Nico. Oh, spammed out by Fur. And can go back and reset, even cycle that orb out if he wants. Would be the safe call just to throw it out of the map at this point if you don't want to play it. But Imperial have a bigger plan, and that is that B site. 
it feels like they really want to bully Alexi here. He did solo so many times. Oh, well, Monacy started to make his way over. The AWP is in the right place at a picture-perfect timing. <laughs> Fully entrusting the Flash to hold this run across in the apartments. Monacy's always been quick. He's always been able to do something in moments like this. Running into the B site now. They're up close Whoa. and having a duck from that one flashbang. Sails him down the river. The AWP is now cut loose. Imperial with a plant. Now, the rest of G2, they're all buying up next round anyway. They can justify trying to make this expensive at a bare minimum. So they will still look to give this round a bit of a go. Yeah, Fallen's AWP is still top mid. Uh, you know, I don't know if they know about that, but they, they never cycled it. So it would be nice to see maybe Hunter go for it, but it doesn't look like he's aware. So Alexi holds for an aggressive post-plant player. Oh, they've grabbed the orb. <laughs> One out of Monacy's body, at least. Forget Fallen's. That's a nice shot for Hunter, but there's going to be more coming in through Apps, and he knows that the bomb will blow it his way. Why risk getting in involved and getting into the apartments? So there's the first-class delivery. And Imperial equalized five in a row. 6-6. Six, six. This is wild, man. Like, I don't know. Even even if you come into this and you're, like, so romanced by the Imperial story, you have to acknowledge that, like, this is a matchup that G2 weren't just meant to win, but they were meant to win dominantly, if we're being real. The fact that Imperial have kept it not just competitive, but now on, like, an even playing field with five in a row, they've got wind in their sails, and they're trying to deliver. At 6-6, six, six, attack pause now called in for G2. They're yeah. starting to feel the pressure of this one, Hugo. You have to acknowledge it, right? You can't you can't cover your eyes and pretend it's not happening. This has been quite a resurgence for Imperial. And all without Fallen. Like he's not had any any kills really in these rounds that they've won. Apart from that one, you know, sick round to start where he got his 3k and he picked Alexi out of Con and he closed the clutch free Monacy. That's Fallen's round. And that's inspired the rest of the squad. Vinny's come in with entry after entry for an FNX bordering and even overstepping double digits. And now Fallen comes back into the fray, picking Nico. Five on four and no route to trade for G2. They've been killed enough by these top mid flashes. Vinny's looking into the wall. Fallen's gonna get run boosted. Imperial have been given the mid control for now. There's the flash. Set Hunter up, but Fallen was already waiting for exactly that. Hunter brushed aside. Monacy's going to hold the line, doing what he can, trading out onto the AK. He needs that multi kill potential right now because they are flooding into oh. this site. He's going to get spammed by Vinny. Jacks at ramp, drops the bomb. Not a problem yet. They can still go back for it, but they are going to have to deal with this ramp, man. Oh, Flash is shot. good. Fallen off the angle. Alexi trying to run him down, oh. but missed shots. And Fallen holds the line. Three in this round. Only Jacks left standing, and that lead that G2 had, that 6-1 scoreline is a distant memory. Imperial up in the lead as they move on to seven. Ridiculously well played as well, and it's not been like a one-trick pony. You know, they they were abusing B, but in many of those rounds where G2 were pulling stacks in at the right times, like they've had the reads. Alexi's called for a lot of support. Monisi was there that one round where he had the hero orb, and that's the one thing you want to avoid. And even then, it put up nothing. And Imperial have just heavy entry this B bomb site. Now they're going for A splits off the back of Fallen's 3K yet again with that AWP finding the first pick. And there are so many ways in there for G2, right? Drax dropping the bomb. If he goes wider, there's a second player on triple. Alexi running and spamming with the P250 and not a single shot connected. Bit of RNG goes the other way today. But Fallen's woken back up. And Imperial just keeps stringing rounds together. G2 with a half by, but you know, we know what G2 are like. They can certainly win these rounds, especially with that saved AK on Jax. They've got a little bit more to play with. Honestly, he's going for a timing shot in the middle, perhaps, but Imperial throw Uto. It's a fake out again. Vinny's just waltzed out ramp. 
G2 have no idea. Yeah, they've smoked it again, and they're going to assume that that smoke will get some respect out of Imperial, but that's just not the case. Vinny was here the whole damn time. He played this early spawn out onto Tetris. And so Jax, with the hero gun, was just jump spotting this, will not be ready for someone to be out yet. He's now seen him. Okay, that is an important bit of info to grab if you're Jax. I like that Vinny realizes he no longer has that element of surprise, and so he just backs on out of there. G2 have two smokes still left, though. If they figure out where this bomb's going, they can really throw a spanner in the works by smoking choke points. Right now, Hunter has no info, just stopping a short split. Triple lean B for G2. Nico's timings go awry yet again. Four players about to face him. He should be dead and first found it. Now no way back in. Jax can use this one gun, but he needs a multi-kill or this one's done. Oh, Ooh. Hunter trying to make a play. What? Trying to make a play with the MP9. He's churned them up. Jax is there to help. And now Vinny oh. cut down as well. Huge scene from Hunter who decides enough is enough. He wants to get stuck in. He leaps into the back line. And we were looking at the hero. AK is something that would have to do it all. Well, it ends up being Hunter with that SMG to put a stop to this streak that Imperial were on. I wonder if that inspires G2 a bit more to go back to what was working in the first few rounds, like a little more disrespect, right? Don't don't let them get away with these slower T-side rounds, these slow cooling and these slow sp uh, splits. Just throw yourselves into these fights. It was those top mid flashes, those pushes down under that, were, that was putting G2 on the board earlier in the half. When they started to play more standard rounds and make good reads, Imperial had the util and had the entry power to break through. I wonder if G2 want to keep up the aggro. It looks like it. Nico's already top middle. Hunter's watching under from an angle that's almost impossible to clear. Fur won't. Oh, dear. Hunter shoots too soon, though. Still. Nico's about to discover the bomb. Oh. It's up here in the apartments. He's going to get Vinny running back. Yeah, Vinny does not know about this. At a bare minimum, you've learned about it early. You can go back bomb. and try rectify this problem with the bomb. Nico doesn't know that it's dropped over here in the TV room. And so Imperial should be able to get that back under wraps at least. He at least knows their B. So while they can get the bomb and go, there's enough players at the site to stop any kind of executing this round for Imperial. A bit more W holding for G2 and it's done the justice. Try and fight this? Yeah. Ooh. They get what they deserve. Two kills and Nico. That's a tight choke point to try and exit through. And Nico never left it. Had them boxed into the B apartment as FNX is here as well can find Hunter, but that's just the start of a long road to recovery. Yeah, he's just kind of styling out right now, and Alexi's there to close it. So an 8-7 half after all for G2. They do manage to win it out. But, I mean, considering how that started, you know, you were, you were certainly expecting a bit more out of this G2 uh, CT side. I was really impressed with the Imperial squad and what yeah. they were able to do once they garnered a bit of respect, right? When you kind of give them the room to run these strats, to run these calls, to have full faith in Fallen, they... Uh, they are able to get a hell of a lot past this G2 squad. And what's so surprising is is what I feel like Imperial are really, really good at, uh, uh, you know, up against Force, which is waiting for mistakes, especially on Mirage. Like, they, their defaults would always give them kills. It's almost like Outsiders-esque, a lot more grouped at times, but they would often just get fed in that matchup. When G2 played aggressive on CT side, that's when they got their, their most value. So nice to see Nico just getting involved near the end of the half, him and Hunter. Had a, had a great show of things. And honestly, did hit some shots uh, in there as well. So G2 favored at the halftime. But Imperial, another classic pistol stack on the A site. G2 are going to walk right in. Yeah, Bolts has been super quiet, right? Normally, he's one of the guys up at the top of the board for Imperial. So let's hope he can have a bit of a resurgence here. He's going to have chances, Ouch. but... Oh, that's ugly. Bolts dealt with Fur dead as well. Fallen trying to play through ahead of this CT smoke. There's a little gap to peer in through. He goes running in, Ooh. full send, but is cut down. Vinny's good for one in the meantime. Ouch. That's a done deal with Nico tapping him out over in jungle. FNX is going to be left all alone in this one. He had the incendiary, but never given a chance to use it. As G2 win that pistol to open up the second half. Yeah, just going to save the molly. 
Not much else he can do. And G2, they can hunt, but it won't really matter. It's of little value anyway. Nico's here to close it, and close it he shall. P250 is rule supreme for G2 in that pistol round. They often do on T-side pistols. And this should be where things level out and stabilize for G2. It's been a bit of a rocky show so far. Eight rounds is fine, but it's just given, you know, what we expect of this team and how it started. For it will be a little bit more dominant, and this is where it can fall that way. Full eco now for Imperial. Just trying to get their rifle round in as soon as possible. Stacked on A, hoping for an overextension. Alexi's got the Mac 10 out, so uh, expect something kind of fast, kind of wild from him, right? As he's out here in middle, he might look to Comrap to assist in this A play. And if he does, he's going to be on his way to, uh, to Farmville. Planting crops or maybe just tearing them out of the ground. Oh, stink. Oh, dear. Don't worry, don't worry one yet. Kill. Yeah, nice don't worry pass. yet. Clean. Good for Nico. Good awareness on they that reswing. And now they're going to lean towards B. They kind of piece this one together. That, yeah, it feels like an A stack. And they're right in that assumption. So, yeah, you know, you get the one USP kill to add a bit of uncertainty. Maybe there's even a follow up here from Fur, who's aggro at ramp. Ooh, there it okay. is. So they managed the three on three. But, yeah, I think, honestly, taking the guns out here is. Far better ending to this round for Imperial. <laughs> for Rob Defenex. I mean, he earned it. Left the Galil back in spawn. Defenex had to go all the way around. But it's fine. All a save at the end of the day. A nice CG too. Even though they got that double entry, the realization that, okay, we are walking into a stack. We may feel confident enough to fight five on five into A, but... But that's also the only way we could ever lose such a round, so let's just not do that. And Alexi gets the boys out of harm's way. Ten to seven now, but here's the full buy, and it's going to be supplemented by saved rifles. So a little bit more money if things do go wrong. Imagine just what what could happen here if Bolt suddenly wakes up and. Has a couple of big rounds yeah. on the CT side. This game could close up quick, man. This is uh, this is a lot off the back of two big 3K rounds for Fallen and all of Vinny's entries, plus FNX and Furge being consistent wherever they are. Yeah, it's wild to think this is the scoreline we're at where, uh, as you say, you know, like Bolts is often this, you know, I would say it's like kind of been him and Fur giving these really big performances to, to even get Imperial yeah. here. So the fact that he's been a bit of a non-factor does just beg the question, you know, what if Bolts was feeling it right now? What could the scoreline be? Will we get him switched back on? Only time will tell. G2 with a pretty grueling start to this one. They take it low and slow, grouping over in Palace. While the rest of G2 lean to middle. distracting utility but bolts should be ready for palace and first actually spammed out jacks it's one way to do it alexi's reset to regroup back on ramp but he's very low in the process for oh on the lip of that smoke getting caught by nico it felt, felt inevitable and with that g2 don't want to commit they've done enough towards a that they feel imperial have maybe stacked this bomb site they go quiet for a second let hunter work in connector Oh, nice clear for Fallen. A four on three now. G2 is constricted to Ramp and Palace. Yeah, this is rough. You're going to be hard pressed to find a way back in. You've lost the Palace component. Monacy tries to make a play out towards Triple. Good spam damage onto Bolts as well back here in CT. Going to need even more than that out of the young gun. Monacy, oh. there's the double up. Vinny down here in con. Good for the trade. And Imperial do get that one over the line eventually. So still keeping this competitive, right? Still keeping it close in the second half. The rifles come into play and they immediately reap the reward of them. Alexi getting very vocal, trying to call the winning T side. Sound like an A split to me. 
Poland's got his all power though now. Monacy was feeling very, you know, he was on it last round. He was chaining together entries out ramp, but put down in the 1v1 before he could react. Now he's just down on the D. Jax has his AK at ramp. Hunter's taken his under. And Alexi's faking out B util right now. It's kept three players here, but one of them's on catwalk. And oh, no, the turn timing. This time it's bolts to bite back, not fallen. And the lurker gone again. G2 just stuck once more in one spot. Yeah, they are still out very, very deep at ramp and Bolts is not gonna be ready for this. If he can get one more Ooh. done, that's a nice little win for this guy. Yeah. Bolts finally arriving to the occasion. Three in the round, why okay. not make it four? He's on for the ace, just Modesty left to beat, who's now playing the objective, playing the bomb plant here, trying to make some money for G2. He's done that at least. And that is the end of the line. Fur runs him down. You get the $800 for planting the bomb, but considering that was an all-in investment, that was everything put into that round for G2. They were expecting a hell of a lot more out of it. It's flawless for Imperial. Five alive. Money getting made now over on this CT side. And that bomb plant, I mean, all it's going to get you in the long run, all it's going to get you in the grand scheme of things is a couple of pistols here in a round where, you know, otherwise you would have just had Glocks. Yeah, and Bolts is waking up as well. That's a worry for G2. Uh, if G2 are going to go back to these A splits, they need to be double layered. They need to be two players coming in from mid. Both times, uh, Alexi has either, you know, come mid and then had to bail because he got put low, or even that round where he goes to fake B and then he resets A. And, and Imperial just finding these very good timings to kill the Lurker in Con, and then G2 just have nothing. They're just walking out ramps with no smokes. So, you know, Tico here, but if they want to split A, they need to have have a little more mid control, have, have more options, have a player to trade that Con guy. Because Imperial just finding all these openers, Fallen will deliver another Furs here to keep the pistols out. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be 10-10. E2 getting run around the place right now. They've got to work for every single round. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're going to try and do damage in this one, but it's like, what are you meant to do here? Right, you're hoping that you can get out through lower, you can try and do something about mid, but Imperial is set up really nicely to just crunch down upon this the moment contact is made. Fur mops up Nico in top middle. Now there's two more out lower. Admittedly, he doesn't know about Alexi yet, right? Maybe that catches him by surprise, but it doesn't. He flicks back up into the window. And so it's another flawless round for Imperial. 10 to 10, all tied up. And man, like, I don't know, this is, this is really legit out of the Imperial squad. Like, no matter how you tried to slice this, no matter how much you buy into the legacy of these players, like this should have been a G2 game all day. The fact it's even this competitive is mind blowing enough, but imagining there's a world where Imperial could win this and send G2 down 0 and 2 is just, I don't know. Like, I, I had a lot of things on my bingo card for this event, but yeah. this was not one of them. Yeah, we've had upsets today, but this would be upset of the day. Like no doubt about it. No ifs, ands, or buts. But we're not there yet. G2 know that these A splits have not been fruitful. They're faking one out right now. The option is there if B doesn't go well to drop back under and regroup with Nico and Alexi. But there's the pick from Fallen before the smokes bloom. Alexi drops into the AWP. They still might sell this hard, and it has. Vinny's begun to rotate. It's only FNX. He needs to go ham right now, and he doesn't. Wall banged out by Monesty to the pixel gap, and G2 explode into the empty site. Yeah, no accounting for that opener, right? Vinny, oh, desperately, he's trapped in by the molly. He's stuck out on a bit of an island here. Does have Fallen holding the line to try offer a helping Ooh. hand. Look at this, oh, goes running in. Hello. Stops what? the bomb and then follows up. It's Fallen to help. Okay, G2, there's only one man left inside of the site. Nico no. dead on the A-Lurk and Monacy is going to do it all alone. Oh, yeah. Hopping on in. 1v3 turned 1v2. Scoped up, Cyclops mode, looking for them. Vinny's eluded him for the time being. Is now wrapping around behind. Fur up the short side. Oh, it's quick. Monacy doubles no. up and there it is. Four in the round and the clutch goes his way as he keeps G2 in this. We needed it. 
It was required every other player falling. The late A luck removed Imperial. They are on it right now, but Monacy put him in a post plant. This guy goes berserk. What an opener. And Imperial, with all that disrespect, to cut down Nico on the late flank to jump out and kill the planter. G2, they still win the round off of the young gun, the youngest gun at the major. <laughs> that's a monazi clutch if i've ever seen one before yeah dude i mean that's the kind of like speed and pace that this guy's capable of you know like that the decision making when he sees both players to pick his battle and to like flick onto Vinny, the the target that was far harder to hit out of the two yeah. but the one that he had to hit it's just mind-blowing and once he gets that you know he's fired up like he doesn't he doesn't lose that after getting that yeah. third player it feels like when he really ramps up doesn't he with every kill he gets in those clubs he becomes faster, more lethal, more aware. It's like that MIBR clutch on Inferno. Oh, and now he's feeling it. Now he's just throwing himself into rounds. Alexi said, Monacy, go kill, and he will answer the call. Looking to break open rounds now for G2 with Hunter by his side. Imperial try and keep the pressure on middle, but their eyes have been clamped shut. Smokes down. Anti-flash for Alexi initially try and smoke out Kong, but he's got to pick his side. He can go through, it's just high risk, high reward. He'll give it up, he'll let them go cat into FNX alone yet again. Pretty, pretty rough spot for FNX to be in though, right? They're way deeper up cat than he's ready for. One and done here might not be enough. Ooh. There's the first, deals with Nico. He's still alive here, still putting pressure on this B site. They're not able to clear him. Oh, know oh, where yeah. he is. Fallen's nabbed Hunter in the meantime. And there's this late lurk in through the apartments. Imperial trying to get back on the board right away. Jackson Monacy, it's very claustrophobic. They're on a timer because of this apps lurk. And Monacy's having to check every conceivable wow. angle. Jax helps him out. It's father and son inside of the B site. Jax is lit up. Honestly, a lot of this round is on his shoulders now. They still can't flush out Vinny. They're still looking for this man inside of the B site. It's so weird. Monacy Ooh. dead. Fallen's going to best him. No. And Jax the molly spreads and burns him out. Oh, my goodness. It's happening. It's happening. It's, it's going through, Harry. Imperial. They are putting up rounds. The time bought from FNX in that round and, and Vinny. Vinny, who gets out late. At least FNX was there from the get-go. He was the one man in the bomb site in back-to-back -back rounds, and he puts up a kill. He buys so much time. Vinny's just dancing around the pillars. They're trying to pre-fire him. They can't even find him. And even with somehow G2 ready for the abs flank, clearing it, it's going to be Imperial keeping it clean, fallen, scope demon. And the molly to spread. This is this is pressure right now for G2, and it's getting to them every step of the way. I mean, this is where being like such heavy favorites really does kind of hurt them in the long run, right? Like, it, it, you could very much get in your head over this, over how these rounds have gone. Even that one there, like they go into a site that has one man on it. One player, FNX, right? And they're not able to deal with him. He's given so much respect, so much freedom to play that round through to its conclusion. I don't know, man. Something special about Antwerp to these Brazilian boys right now. Bolts. He dinked fur. Going to save his teammate's life. And now a pop flash to attempt to get in them into B. FNX and Vinny are here, though. These slippery fish. Ooh. This time, not going to oh, elude capture. Slippery. Vinny's overwhelmed. FNX still oh, alive no. and kicking on the short side, but he's with that opener. And with these missed shots, Starts to get more panicky. Gonna course correct. Alexi dead. Nico followed up onto a Monacy is spammed out. Jax with a Glock. 1v4. Not longed for this world as they start to move in. He's mopped up and Imperial retake the lead at 12 to 11 now. Yeah, today has been full of upsets. Today has been, you know, tears for many a team, many an analyst, many a prediction fan. But this is unprecedented. This is unaccountable but it's also happening imperial 12 to 11 take the lead back they've been competitive this entire game through it was like a 6-1 for g2 that was the only stretch we had 
And now it's a stretch to think that G2 might even win this map. Dropping double under. They can boost or they can run. Doesn't matter. Modesty's there. Boosted off the top. Takes Fur out of the round. Bolts is still going to give it a go. They won't expect oh another. My God. But he can be cleared from lower. He's running away and he still lives. 10 health the difference. Oh, okay. Hunter's had enough. Hunter's hungry. If that nade was a second later, Hunter would have been caught jumping into window. Instead, it's just a little tickle onto his HP bar. And so he's still very much in the round. Up through the short side, Hunter's in with another. Deals with FNX, who attempts to regain that mid control. And this round, you know, the beast has been fed just constantly over here in middle. Honestly, you know, I think it all kind of gets a bit out of hand when Bolts got caught overstepping the mark, tagged up, right, forcing respect out of him. Mid got conceded, and as they threw more into the void, it's only made matters worse. So G2, Ooh. finally looking to come in with a round. Oh, okay, they're about to send the bomb back, <gasps> Harry. They're sending the bomb back because Jax has cleared B, but oh, Bolt is on a okay. flank no, no, of his no. own. They're going back. They, 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 okay, they've realized. Yeah, they're like, this... okay, this is actually really cooked, guys. Let's not screw this up. Oh, Let's not overcomplicate it. Phew. Yeah, Fallen, uh, he just loved to save at this point. Doesn't know it, but this round's over. And Jax is just his only challenge in this B bomb site. He's going to go back, have a little looky into the jungle. But Monacy's here. We've scoped on ladder. Fallen could have gone, but like I said, the save is the aim. Fallen doesn't even want to fire off and give away his position. Alert the hounds of G2 to chase him down. <laughs> but he's go. gone through the murder hall. And there he is taking Monacy. Now they're alert. They know he's not winning the round, but they don't want to let him save this all. He just like didn't have to make that move, but he did. He just, he just wants to fight. He's feeling himself right now. Can you blame him? Stripping the AWP out of the ranks of G2. He knows they've got to go try and save it as well, but they will start to pressure Whoa, him. That Molly nice. is going to force him off the cinder oh, blocks dead. and now wrapping through CT and through the market. He will get mopped up, so the save is denied, and G2 tied this game up at 12 all. You would have loved that save, man. It would have given you so many options here. Now, the AWP can still come out, but it is going to mean there's going to be some serious limitations for this Imperial CT side. How do they want to approach this? We are deep into crunch time now. And so they will just take a partial investment. I actually love this call, man. Yeah. It's going to give them like a, a really, really good buy in the follow-up. They could double AWP if they really want to. There's nothing wrong with that at this point. On CT Mirage, Fallen's going to close peak grab this shot. On a C. Fur has a mag 7 of B. Why not? Could be very hit or miss. Imperial, meanwhile, stack AAA and G2. You can see them getting a little loud after that previous round. They, they know they are still in position to take this map. And if anything, it's probably a relief being on the T side where you feel like you can just control the outcome and you, you can just manipulate Imperial. They've done so in this round. They've pushed them over to B. This bomb is still undecided at top middle with Con control, with Nico clearing the flank. G2R leaving that B bomb site, just sending Alexi, a little Roma, trying to get eyes prying. Dude, he hasn't seen anyone yet. Oh, oh that's a D delight away. of Vinny. Yeah. And now they should just hit the go button on this A play, right? They've lost the extremity over towards this B site. Left him with one option. Fallen. That was a kill, man. Suddenly Imperial is spurred Ooh. on to give this a go. And I mean, they will still get one. They find a three on three. Hell, you guys are buying up next round anyway. It might be worse. It might be worth throwing some bodies at the problem and just seeing what sticks here. Mag 7 on fur, waiting to farm some cash. He would love a peek, but Hunter isn't going to give it to him. They're planning for damage right now on this Imperial CT side, trying to keep as many bodies inside of the site as they can. They're out through CT. Bombs planted open. Lots of angles for G2 to watch this from. Smoke on the bomb. Um, Nico's a long way out. But no one's sticking it. No one's going for this. They're oh. looking for damage. 
It's not a worry yet, right? There isn't time for this defuse, but at a bare minimum, it's very expensive for the G2 squad. Not gonna lie, if Thur got on that bomb in the smoke, right? Imperial win that yeah. round. Straight up, no question about it. Nico was too far. Nico wasn't knife out running, he was hunting. He was like, he was looking for kills in T spawn and top middle. He wasn't playing for that bomb because, yeah, like, you know, he was right. They weren't going for it, they were just going for damage. They didn't expect that, but like, that's a very scary situation from our perspective where Imperial had a chance to win it. They just didn't know how open it was. Absolutely crazy. They've used all their attack pauses because it's like, even though you win that round, like, yeah. oh, you, you can know. see Nico, you know, talking them up. Yeah, like, dude. I mean, I they're think they're getting farmed on uh, even on those exits, which is beautiful for Imperial because Harry now, like you said it anyway, they, they had an eco where they didn't need to eco, but it would it was really nice. Now, look at the money after the buy. They've got three players on 2K. They're in a very good position despite being a round down. G2, though, they have Monacy, they have Nico. Hunter's coming in with some entry rounds now as well. His underlurks have done a little better in these last two rounds. But we're here for a reason. Imperial are competitive. Right, Monacy's been good on this ramp fight. Feels like it's been a, a fairly consistent source of opening up rounds. And so Imperial never even take the risk of challenging it. Look at the respect from everyone now. This is the slowest opening gun round we've seen in a while because everyone realizes the entire game rests on this. Yeah, it does, I mean, it's, it's all on the line and so much of it can just be boiled down to this one round. So no one wants to be that first man to fall. They're working this mid control. They've got themselves a route to split nice. this A site. This is good posi uh, positioning for G2. That Molly tag is going to be heard. At this point, Fern knows there's players leaning towards Con. Vinny, if he oh. could catch Alexi there, that would have been a real difference making frag. But it goes the other way. And suddenly a path is cracked open to lean into this A bomb site. They've seen the CT player. They know that Bolts is being harbored behind this smoke in CT. They're going to try and get out past Fur, who nails that opener. Ooh. And the follow-up suddenly flipping the script. Fur still fighting, laid to rest eventually. It's Bolts out through the CT smoke, playing ahead of it, now stuck at triple. Nice. And he will get spammed out. A 2v2, Nico and Monacy, the two big names here, trying to keep this G2 round in check. Nico with the taps has put the fear in the man at jungle. Again. Now gonna root out of there. Monacy's left Ooh. fighting in the site alone, but he wins that opener. It's fallen in the 1v2, in this clutch. Makes it all the way into the site. But Nico's wrapped back round into the ramp side. Right now, fallen is hunting for Monacy, and he heard that scope. Yeah. He is not swinging this. He is not giving fallen the kill that he's so desperately hoping for. Tap on the bomb, and there's nice. Nico with the immediate punish, with the immediate swing. Yeah, he's been super decisive in these post plants now, and uh, you know, I love the changeup for Alexi as well. Finally, they go for that A split, and they realize the difference maker. They need that double con, right? They need the two-pronged attack. Even though Fur kind of mauls them from jungle, it just gives... Firstly, it means that, you know, like the last couple of A splits, it's not just one player getting timing picked in con, and then you're stuck, but also they get so much more space that G2 actually get deep out the ramp. They get into triple, they get into default, all off the back of Alexi and his teammate coming up connector really quick with that first opening kill. So G2, a good solution and a massive round because now Imperial are putting money in, but this is even indecisive. We've got an orb, we've got mag seven, we've got ecoing players. They're trying to toe the line, they're trying to balance by. But this seesaw tipping now in the favor of G2. All the weight on their shoulders. Just trying to get 15. And while G2 have used all of their pauses, Imperial just called their first. 
Fallen's in the right spot with this hero orb, but he might get caught lobbing oh, util in. Oh, instead, he's going to open up. Fallen on triple, dancing around. Wow. Doubles up before all is said and done. Before he's traded, he puts up two. Keeping Imperial in this, a 3v3. You've got the Eagles, you've got this Mag 7. You put a bit of money on the line here, so it's not over yet. Bomb plant coming in. G2 going to get that down. It's for Palace and CT. They've got Nico waiting to be the round winner. The rest of the gang are pl pretty claustrophobic, trapped in this bomb site. They're going to try and fight for CT. Oh, no. Going to try and long it out versus the Deagle, but a whiff spray from Alexi. He's now low, hiding in this site. Smoke the Mag 7. This is its domain. Fur, this is right where it wants wow. to be. And Alexi's still going to best him. Oh, Modesty's up in the air and hits that no scope trade. Now it's only FNX. Modesty goes swinging, and Nico helps him out. 15 for G2. This little double duo, Modesty, Nico, they have been the ones that have changed the game, right? 12 12, coming alive with multi kills every single round. And that's not even including Modesty's sickening clutch on the B bomb site as well great time to come alive for these two the jumping no scope i love that as well he's hitting his head on a lip so he's not going for the full jump he's not going really high in the air where he can get spotted and shot crazy shot and g2 might have just finally primed themselves to close out a very difficult game Imperial take ramp early on in this round, right? It's, it's kind of a nice change. We haven't really seen like loads of aggression towards this A bomb site. So trying to put that MP9 at the front, get the info. I know that ramp was empty at the start of the round. He didn't have Monacy going for his normal pick there. Now G2 are moving back into what looks like this A play once more. Bolts pushed up on the ramp side. Fur holding Palace. These are two pretty aggressive CTs, right? They go down, suddenly a route to the A plant is open. And G2 would be looking to close this out. So it's so important that these fights go their way. Oh, Great flash. Bolts off the angle now, but gonna drop that smoke. It's a good response. Ah, it's a bad response. Bad smoke right there. Tries to play in it. Tries to turn it to his advantage. Bit of indecisiveness. Moni, Monacy was going back and has now been told to recommit into A. Lobs in another flash. Bolts wasn't blind. Jack still wins that out regardless. And so Fur's got to hold the fort with nothing more than this MP9. Yeah, it's just trap at 20 seconds. A couple of well-placed kills could be good. That Molly is even better. It's forced him so uncomfortable into the open. Monacy drops the bomb, make, makes them plant it for him so he can get the cover. Hunter with the backstab, and it's all coming together for G2. The closer should be here and now. Nico tries to jump the gun, but Monacy is in the back line, ready to end this entire map. Yeah, FNX is so low, so wrapped, so out position. There's nothing he can do here, right? And as he goes back, Monacy will be there to close it. G2, they chain together five to get this one over the line, turning it around and snatching it back from the jaws of Imperial. Yeah. Man, you know, that was not comfortable. That was not easy, but they are able to get this win through the pipeline, going 1-1 now for Imperial. Yeah, it's kind of devastating. You know, this would have been upset of the tournament, really, if yeah. they were able to pull this I'm one off. I'm saying something. Yeah, and dude, like, there was definitely